Finally, transgender people are gaining more visibility in the world. And that's great. But a lot of trans and gender non-conforming people are noticing a rise in the comments, a rise in the questions, a rise in the interest in our experience. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's awkward. <laughs> and sometimes the questions being asked are just plain offensive. So never fear. We're going to attempt to clarify some things. Let me take you into the perspective of what a trans person hears when they're asked some uncomfortable questions. Oh my god, you're trans? My uncle's gay. You said trans, I heard gay. They're the same thing. Oh my god, I know. I should just like tattoo the word trans on my forehead. <laughs> okay, bye. You're trans? Yeah. I never would have known you're trans. You just actually look like a guy. I'm so glad you conformed to my version of what a guy is supposed to be. Now you won't interrupt my day because I don't know what you are. Ah, oh, your makeup looks so much better than mine. It's not fair. Because you were assigned male at birth, you're not supposed to be good at makeup. So, how are your parents? How are they taking it? Are they okay? Are they disappointed? Thank you for assuming I'm a disappointment to my family. You get where I'm coming from so I can say this around you. You're cool, right? You can't correct me because I know you, and my comfort is more important than yours. You're just really brave. Inspirational. It must be really hard to be you. I can't believe you went outside today. This is Cecilia. You do you, girl. I mean, I have so many trans friends. You can be one too if you want, girl. I changed my profile picture to a rainbow, so you know I totally support you. And I was just recently at a party with this really nice person. He was so, I, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, she was so, um, you know what I mean, right, girl? I need to remind myself that you're a girl, and I hope that it comes off like I'm being so supportive. When did you know? When did you choose to be trans? It's a choice. You wouldn't be single if you dressed like a boy. Nobody wants to date someone like you. I mean, I'm gay too. Can't you just be a lesbian? Gender and sexuality are options and are exactly the same thing. I think we've seen enough. Now, for us trans folks, if we choose to respond, a few options. Is it okay if I don't use your gender pronouns? They is plural? It's too confusing. I know more about your gender pronouns than you do, so it's okay if I don't do it right. So it's okay, right? Actually... So define okay, because it's not really okay for you to just ignore my gender pronouns. If it's hard for you, everyone messes up. I still mess up. So correct yourself and move on. It's not okay to not even try. Hi, can I take your order? Wait, are you trans? Did you get the snip? Oh, no, 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 no. I got this. First of all, if you whisper something to my ear, you know it's wrong, so don't. Second of all, I don't need a snip. I got my hair cut last week. Can I ask you a question? Buzz, buzz, please hurry. Did you, like, have the surgery or...? Gender is in between my ears, not in between my legs. Let's get out of here. Excuse me, the men's department is downstairs. Thank you, that's great for men. Let's be clear, we're not saying that you can't talk to us. There are plenty of completely appropriate ways that you can talk to trans people. In fact, some of them might be very familiar to you. This bus is taking forever. I know, right? What are you getting? I was thinking Linguini. Oh, I've had that, it's really awesome. Hi, can I take your order? Hey, are you going to Pride tomorrow? If it's not raining. I should be there in like 10 minutes. Okay, no worries, I'll see you then. Okay, how does this one feel for you? Is it is it too big? Maybe a little, do you have a smaller size? Oh sure, let me grab it for Thank you. Thank you so much.